Hello, this is Munir Hog and welcome to Android Recycler View using Kotlin tutorial. In this tutorial, I will cover every details of um, Recycler View. But before going to the tutorial, we will see what we will uh, build in this tutorial. We will build uh, this kind of list. Actually, this is a car list and this is a Recycler View. And when we click the Recycler View, any item it will go to another activity and show uh, in details so this is the tutorial we are going to build in this this is the app we are going to build in this tutorial so we will first open a project in android studio and uh, we'll give a name i just gave the name new recycler and you can give your name in your choice so first thing is uh, we will we will go to the activity main.xml and we will delete the text view here from here okay and we will okay the first thing is we need to go to the build.gradle and we need to add the dependency for um, uh, recycler view so this is the dependency for recycler view and we also will enable the data binding So we will also enable the data binding okay so because we are going to use the data binding in our project so we will enable it data binding enabled equals true okay and we will press the sync now the, the project is syncing so our syncing has been finished and all recycler view related uh, dependency had been included so we go to the um, activity main.xml and here we will add a recycler view recycler view recycler view and we 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 want to uh, make it uh, match parent and match parent and we will make the id like id uh, id car list okay car list okay so we will uh, see so we will see a little recycler view sample recycler view sample here sorry we'll see a little recycler view sample here and we will explore and uh, generate the items of the recycler view later so so before diving into code we will see the basic building block of a recycler view so the recycler view has three main basic building blocks those are the item view item views is basically the view for items or data in the recycler view we see this item view on activity recycler view creates or recycles those views for each item then comes the adapter adapter is the class which are, which acts as a bridge between the data data items and the views adapter also has the functionality of creating new views for each data item and finally the view holder class the view holder class is responsible to cache all those views and recycle the view for each data item so let's come back to our code and we will add a data class to uh, make some objects of data like uh, we go to the new and add kotlin class and we will write cars the name of the uh, class is cars and okay so the cars will, will be a data class so the data class car basic those who don't know the which uh, what is data class data class is simply a class which holds some data so we will add some uh, attribute here like where we want to and the name which is name which is type of string 
and also the country is a type of string and finally we will uh, see the image well we will use the uh, resource image uh, image in drivers so this will be integer type so logo logo which is type of integer next thing we will add uh, data binding functional functionality to our uh, main activity so for that we will add the layout layout and close the tag and make the layout as a root view group root view group and we make an indent the for to look the code nicer little bit nicer and we will also cut the xmlns uh, name spaces to the read view to the layout okay and we paste it and uh, we will also go to the main activity and we will add a let init for binding binding and which is the type of activity main activity main binding so, so those who you don't know about the data binding I have a uh, tutorial three part tutorial on data binding which is available uh, in this YouTube please watch the data binding tutorial also then we will uh, add the binding equals binding equals data binding util dot this and we will also need the um, context of this class and we also now the binding is completed we want to change the name country we want to give it a description description and we will add the item view for the recycler view items so for that we will go to the race layout and new xml layout xml file and we will give it a name actually layout underscore uh, item underscore view okay and we finish so we also want to do one thing um, mm, we want a drawable for that we will go to the race folder by clicking right click and show explorer and we will go to the race and we will create a drawable uh, no dpi folder we name it we will give the exact name drawable drawable yes, no dpi folder okay and in this folder we will we have a sample um, uh, logo we'll copy and paste it there Toyota logo and we will so we will paste in drawable inside your drawable node api okay and we will go back to our new recycler view and under the text we will make we will first the first thing is we will make the linear layout as wrap content wrap content and make the orientation vertical orientation vertical and inside the linear layout we will add another linear layout another linear layout which will be uh, which width would be match parent and height will be 130 dp and it will be 
horizontal so orientation goes horizontal okay sorry and then inside this linear layout we will add an image view image view which is also the height and width will be 130 dp 130 dp and and what we'll do we will uh, give a name so the id will be id car id and the tools we will uh, use another um, uh, namespace uh, named tools so we will show the image we'll see the image in compile time but has no effect on runtime so the tools uh, alter enter and the source tools and the source will be our newly added the drawable toyota we will make it the rename it like um, refactor rename only toyota okay the name will be toyota okay the image is showing here we will make it little bigger or so we can see what we are doing so now and we will also make a scale type scale type which is fit center okay. and we will also give a little bit margin to the end so the margin margin end will be say it will be 10 dp okay and inside that we will close the image view and inside that uh, linear layout we also will also uh, create another linear layout which is linear layout which will be match parent and height will be the same height of the previous linear layout which is 130 dp uh, excuse me okay is it 130 dp and we will this will be uh, oriented as horizontally no sorry this will be uh, oriented as vertically so orientation will be vertical and here we will add two text uh, text view so the first text view will be uh, so we will add the first text view text view and the name will be uh, the height will be match parent and it uh, height will be um, wrapped content uh, and the, we will give a name so we will give an id so the id will be um, id um, sorry we have named it car id which will be the car logo the car logo is more relevant okay so it will be car id car id and what else we can do we can add a margin here little bit margin so the margin will be 8 dp 8 dp and we will make the text size little bit bigger because it will be a title so name will be so the text size text size would be 28 dp and uh, we we want to uh, we want to put some text so tools text would be toyota toyota okay okay and beneath the text view we will an add another text view text view 
and it will be um, same as match parent and height will be the wrap content and uh, we will give an ID like ID car description car description and we will also give a uh, we will copy paste this okay rather than writing every time we will copy paste the whole thing and give it here paste it here and we will make the um, text size is a little bit smaller it will be 16 dp and th as this is a description we will close it uh, we will put some more text like toyota is a good car and we will copy paste for a couple of times to make really look like a description okay um copy paste couple of times okay okay i think this looks pretty good so the design thing is like that uh, this will be the item view for each item in the recycler view we just have created the item view here and this is the logo there is a uh, name and this is the description now we will add some uh, data so to add some data we will go to the uh, main activity dot xml and uh, we will add let me uh, let me uh, first add the uh, car class type of object so let in it and this will be a car list we will we will uh, t take a list of cars and which will be a array list of uh, cars a list of cars so we will get a list of cars okay and now we will first uh, make an instance of the uh, array of those cars so we will uh, make the car list equals a simply a array list okay now we will create another function outside the on create method name uh, fun add cars which will basically add some car objects uh, to the car list and so before that we will uh, go to our race, uh, race folder so we will right click and uh, press show in explorer uh, so i have and we'll go inside the drawable no dpi and i had create some uh, collected some <laughs> car logos we will copy paste here so we will copy the, all the data and we will drawable no dpi and we will paste it here so replace file destination okay fine so we will go our to our uh, code and we will create uh, here some create some uh, array list of some uh, data instances like uh, we will add uh, to the car list car list dot add and here we will take a car type object so the car and we will instantiate with some data cars sorry cars it will be cars and we will instead like uh, we will give the name the name properties the toyota and we will put some description so we will say some good car and we will copy paste couple of times and finally we, we need to put the uh, image id which is r dot id dot toyota sorry r dot drawable r dot drawable dot we will send the toyota id toyota image id okay toyota, oh sorry we need to close it here okay fine so uh, basically we are you are adding um, car type object to our car list uh, uh, array list so 
I have done some um, sample data so I have uh, I will copy paste here all the contents from here to I will also remove this line and I will copy paste here car list so this will be car list sorry car list car list car list so now if we when we call the add cards from on create view well what uh, will it will uh, create some car list uh, items to add some car list items to the car list uh, array list okay add cards so our item view is has been created now we will create the adapter class and to add the adapter class we will uh, go to the new and the kotlin class and give a name the car adapter car adapter and okay so this is the class and we name this car adapter and we will um, uh, we will extend the uh, view uh, uh, recycler view adapter class later just we now for now we we'll leave it here and we will create another class name uh, car view holder so so the basically view holder will um, uh, hold all this view that will be recycled that uh, so the name is class given name car view holder view holder and we will pass an argument whose name is item view which is a type of view android views android view and which will this um, class will extend the recycler view holder so this is a view holder view holder and we will give the same argument here item view okay <coughs> so now inside this uh, view holder we will access all these all of our uh, item views like um, let's give a name so, so far car name car name equals item view item view dot car oh. so showing the car id actually we want to make it car name so we want to make a little modification we will go to layout file layout item view and <coughs> We will we give the name is car ID. Actually, we will name it car name. We name it car name. Okay, so more re relevant and listen, we make it like dot car name and we will make some copy paste. Oh, no need to copy paste. So for and there is car description. This description and it will be item view dot car description and finally the car car logo it will be item view dot car logo okay fine so we have made the uh, car view holder so now we will concentrate on car adapter class so uh, we will first uh, give a property number uh, this is will be a say items or items i will give the name items which will be a car list type so it will be array list and cars so basically that same thing here we will pass on the array list here and and then we will uh, uh, extend the recycler view dot adapter class 
so recycler view dot adapter so adapter actually expects a view holder so we already uh, create a view holder num named card view holder so we will put the ca card view hold card view holder name here so we will copy and paste and we will call it even here so now actually the card adapter class which extends the uh, recycler view adapter so recycler view adapter has uh, this abstract class and it has three uh, member function we will we need to override that three um, member functions which is uh, three members is get uh, item count is a function and another function is um, create on create view holder and here is on bind view holder okay so then the get item count this is only the it will count the all these uh, items of the in the inside the adapter we will just return return the size of these items size of these items as items dot size okay and now the on create view holder so on create view holder uh, actually expects uh, a parent view group and it will return a card view card view holder type uh, actually our view holder type object so we create a uh, let init oh, sorry let init bar we name it car view car view holder which will be a type of this type and actually when the views are first time created uh, it will come to the on create view holder so we will create the layout here we will create the same layout here we will actually not create we will inflate this layout inside our uh, on create view holder so we will create a view so it will be a um, it will be a so so uh, we write the car view holder type object and it will be a car view holder and inside the car view holder you see the car view holder it will be a view we will send a view so we will inflate inflate this um, uh, layout item view inside our car view holder okay so we will inflate the layout inflator and this layout inflator dot form and the context will be the parent context so the context will be the this parent it will be the uh, this view groups view groups context view group dot context and we will finally inflate inflate the r dot id sorry r dot layout this is layout this will be a layout dot this layout we will uh, uh, inflate this layout so enter layout item layout item view and and we will uh, we will also uh, give the uh, parent class here uh, actually view group parent here so so parent and also we do not want to attach this view to the view group so we will send here a false false okay then we will simply return the enter object car view uh, actually view holder object here so return car view holder this is simple now we have finished the on create view holder uh, uh, activities and uh, tasks and now we will uh, we will make some changes inside your on bind view holder actually when uh, on kit view holder uh, uh, finishes uh, its creating the views then 
uh, the from, from the next time all these all these values goes to the on bind view holder to re reuse the views okay so how you can do it we can say holder holder dot so holder dot name this is this holder holder dot car name uh, dot text this actually it is the text type equals actually we will make it a nullable because it could be null it will be null safe so text equals we will write uh, uh, we will write the items here items and get the position and inside that position we will uh, write this text uh, write this uh, variable thing so we will put and uh, get sorry items which is these items which is these items items dot get will go inside that position the position is the adapter position here the position and we will in this position actually in the items that get position we will get a uh, uh, car object car type object and we will consider the we will consider the name here and so the holder will print uh, the holder inside the holder car name it will it will print this uh, uh, these properties okay so we will do the same thing for card description also and the image also okay uh, and card description dot text we will make it an alsif okay and which will be items dot gate it's a position 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 dot description description right and now the holder dot now we will use the car logo that's uh, that's why we will uh, the car logo car logo and car logo we will use that car logo dot set image resources because it is a image view type and the view type will be items dot get position and it will be the logo okay fine so we have created the view holder and we have also uh, created the car adapter and inside the car adapter we have created the on kit view holder and on bind view holder now we will we will uh, we will call the car adapter object from our main activity to connect actually the com uh, adapter the car adapters main task is to connect um, activity with uh, the uh, data so we will go here and we will go to the so uh, actually we give the name here the car list we will change the name right like recycle which will be more relevant recycler and this inside the main activities on create method we will get the because the recycler car recycler dot um the to use the recycler view we need a um, layout manager so we will set the layout manager so layout manager equals we will use linear layout manager linear or layout manager and we will send the context the context of the this activity for this and we will do another thing we will add a separator a decorator so we will add the curlies dot add add oh sorry car recycler car, re, car recycler dot add item decoration and we will put the divider divider item decoration and divider item decoration uh, accepts two parameters which is, is this and it will also uh, we will make a line uh, horizontally so we will put one if we wanted the line uh, vertical we will put zero we will put zero but uh, here we will put one and uh, finally 
we will call the recycler adapter we will set the recycler adapter so the car list sorry the car recycler dot adapter equals car adapter and car adapter uh, accepts only one parameter which is a array list of cars so we we use this car list so, right car list okay hopefully it will run and we will run it in the emulator so give a run so let me show you the thing yes we got the we got the our least recycler view it's completely working fine and we got the images the uh, the images or the uh, name and description all these things it's working really fine so the code is working so we have covered a couple of things here like uh, creating item views for the uh, recycler view and then we also have learned how to uh, create and use uh, the view holder class and we have also learned how to uh, connect create the adapter and connect to the um, uh, recycler view and uh, we have left a very important uh, thing uh, creating listener for the recycler view items that means when you when we click the recycler view items it will go somewhere and do some actions so to know the uh, approach best approach to add uh, one click listener in uh, recycler view items please watch our next tutorial i will cover details everything about uh, the uh, recycler view items click listener so thank you for